So during one of our recent practices, we had some new trial members and we were struggling with gaps. So we decided to um, do like a one-on-one -on -one lesson on gaps. And I forgot that I was recording and after I found out that I was, I decided that it would be a good idea to share the tips I did for teaching how to have better gaps and also this may be helpful for if you want to teach somebody or a group how to have better gaps or if you want to learn yourself how to have better gaps. As you can see here, we are pretty inconsistent with gaps. It's better than it was during part of the practice, but um, there's just some issues with gaps you can see how the gaps are uneven and they're almost one horse when others have like half a horse gap and so we really want to um, make sure that they're right up behind that person um, so they're pretty close and it just it looks a lot neater because this is still pretty good but it's uh, not how we would like it to be so now I will show you how I taught the members and so like I said you can use these tips to teach yours or any random people or you could uh, also benefit from this if you struggle with gaps yourself. Um, I, a lot of people when they do dressage they want to be here on their screen because it looks good but that looks like this on our screen so you need to make sure you are like this minimum on your screen if you ever see yourself like this you can step up but then you might be too far like this so then you can wiggle your horse a tiny bit and you'll slow down until you're at this point okay so that's a tip you'd I'd rather you be up here than back here so don't be afraid to do that step up even if you end up too far ahead just wiggle a tiny bit and then you'll slow down if we keep saying that you have a gap it might be different for you because everybody is different with screen delay you might be like this and you might still have a gap like this on our whoops like oh my god can more stop like this on our screen which is too much you want to be like this on our screen so that means some people need to be halfway inside. So instead of being OT, which is like this, you might need to be halfway inside, which is like this, okay? And so the easiest way for me to see if I'm OT or halfway inside is if I have my horse's front legs in their back legs, like this, this is OT, or if I have my horse's front legs where I give them six legs. So right now she has legs coming out of her horse's stomach. So if I'm like this, I'm OT. I mean, I'm HI, which is halfway inside. If I'm like this, I'm OT. This is what we want to do, but some people need to do like this. Also, a way of fixing gaps is through turns. So sill, trot, set, go. I'm going to slow down right here. I am... And I'm... NTT on my screen. So I look good on my screen. Okay, but this is too far. I want to be like this. Right now I'm halfway inside. If I slow down to OT, this is what it looks like. Now, when she belts, if I'm too far behind, I can cut my belt early. Okay, I'm still a bit too far behind, so belt. Cut my belt early. And look, I fixed my gap. So you can do that in turns too. It looks better. That's what we prefer in comps. And you can do the same thing with going wider to fix your gap. So now I am OT. So a way of keeping your gaps um, good is making sure that to fix your gap, you should only be able to canter up a step or walk back a step. That means that your gap is good. Um, 
the maximum I want you to do is three. If you have to do more, it's because something went wrong somewhere. Um, or you're really not keeping up with your gap. So trot, set, go. And you're going to move the second the person in front of you moves. When their feet move, your feet move. So now fix your gaps. Make sure you are OT. Good. That's looking so much better already. Now, Brooke, you see your gap is a little bigger. There you go. Good. So after every move, you want to fix your gap. If I say curl set and you have a bad gap, Stay with a bad gap. Do not move after someone says set. So Anna canter up two steps. Nobody follow her. Still right now has a huge gap. If I say curl set, she's stuck with it. Okay, it's like when you go to a family reunion and there's that aunt that really bothers you. You're kind of just stuck there. Okay, so she has to stay with that gap until we are done doing a move. So that means if a comb was bad and you guys veered, you would fix your gap after the comb. You always wanna fix yourself after moves, analyze where you are after moves no matter what the move is. For the last few minutes, I wanna play a game. Um, the game is you are going to trot and you have a certain time frame to fix your gap. I'm not going to tell you if your gap is bad or not. I want you to analyze it for yourself. And when I say X set go, you're going to click X right away. Okay? So right away when I say it, you guys are going to click X. So you have until the long rail to fix your gaps if you feel like you need to. X set, go. Oh, <laughs> South was early. Okay. X set, X set, go. Gorgeous. Perfect gaps. Look at that. And with that, you guys can unmute your dismiss. Yay! Oh, God, still. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free.